Are you tired of the old standard tie knots? Today we're going to learn how to tie the Kelvin knot, named for Lord Kelvin, a 19th century scientist known for his work on thermodynamics. The Kelvin knot is a great option if you want to branch out from, let's say, the four in hand and bring a little bit of history into your knot tying. The main characteristics of the Kelvin knot are 1. It's a small to medium sized knot. 2. It can be worn in a business or casual setting. And 3. It works great with either point or medium spread collars. Start by draping the tie over your neck. With this particular knot, you're going to have the outside of the tie facing towards you. Unlike most knots, you'll start with the narrow end on your right and the wide end on your left. Adjust the tie until the wide end is longer than the narrow end. The exact length will depend on your height and the length of the necktie. Cross the narrow end over the wide end and then bring the wide end around in front of the narrow end. Take the wide end behind the narrow end and then pass it in front of the narrow end one more time. Now go under and through the neck opening. Pulling the wide end through the outmost loop you just formed. Tighten the knot by gently pulling on the wide end while holding the knot until you are satisfied with the look. Bring the knot up to your neck by holding the narrow end while pushing the knot up with your other hand. Keep your tie looking tidy by putting the narrow end through the keeper loop on the back of the tie. Your tie should rest between the top and middle of your belt line. If it's too short, go ahead and start over making the narrow end higher. If it's too long, start with the narrow end lower. Now you're ready to incorporate the Kelvin knot into your wardrobe, a great knot that has a fun bit of history attached to it. Be sure to check out the article and infographic for a detailed step-by-step -step look at tying the Kelvin knot.